name is Coach Show Dogs to Born, but built for the part news, and welcome to a Halloween update from Flamingo Land. Yes, we're back. After a couple of days, no videos, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And we have a Halloween update from Flamingo Land in Malton, North Yorkshire. We've got their Halloween event and all the details surrounding it. We can confirm it is COVID safe as well. Uh, now, we haven't done videos in a couple of days, and that is because the other channel, the Donny Rovers one, is taking up pretty much my entire life nearly. And, um,. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of stuff going on over there, um, and you know it's just finding the time really to do this. And to be fair, now I've got two channels. It's it's getting pretty difficult to balance the two, but you know I'm trying the best I can. And with everything going on with the second channel, I think that uh, that's been that's been taking over as more of a priority than this one. Which you know I don't want it to be. I want it to be just as equal. But I think with everything going on, I think it's just become a priority. So. Um, you know, I will still try and do my best to give you guys the latest theme park and attractions news all throughout the year, uh, the rest of, the rest of this year and going into next year as well, all around the world. And, uh, you know, I'll keep going, I'll keep pushing on, I'll keep bringing you these updates, I'll keep doing your video suggestions, you guys sent in a couple of suggestions, uh, yesterday over the closed video period, shall we say, and, uh, we're gonna process a couple of those ideas and uh, we're gonna get them ready for upload in a few days time or in the next few weeks or you know when there's no news updates really uh, but today we've got two news updates one from Flamingo Land and one from Bush Gardens Tampa Bay so before we get started make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video and for now guys let's get into this video and let's talk about Halloween and all the details surrounding the Flamingo Land Halloween half term event so the information comes from the website itself and this event will operate between the Saturday 10th of October and Sunday 1st of November. So between those two dates, uh, this Halloween we have a host of spectacular events, attractions and activities sure to thrill the whole family. From 10am until twilight daily, park admission prices are as standard and includes access to the firework display, more on that a little bit later. Evening only tickets from 4pm are available for £10 per person for the last hour of rides to see the Riverside 13 show and to enjoy the firework display on selected dates. In addition to our sensational theme park and award winning zoo, there are a whole host of themed tricks and treats for you to enjoy each day. So let's go on then about the different things. You've got your Twilight Kids rides first of all. From 5pm to 6pm daily, experience a selection of our rides in Twilight, so subject to availability. The rides on the website are the Teacups, the Pink Elephant, the Balloon Race, the Vortex and the Frog Hopper. So they're the, the kids rides that are up there for the Twilight, but of course it's on selected dates and subject to availability. Then we have Stalk in the Park. It's time to face your fears when darkness falls across the park and all the rides stop. Flamingo Land has a completely different kind of visitor and they're looking for you. Our frighteningly popular stalk in the park is back and it's spookier than ever. Join us if you dare. We have slots available from half 6pm to half 9pm on the following dates for just £15 per person or, if, or a discounted rate of only £10 per person if you're staying in our holiday village or if you called a current annual pass. So it's on those following dates. Um, so the event is accessible uh, to guests using wheelchairs, motorized scooters, buggies, push chairs, uh, and similar. Though it should be noted that as part of the event takes place outdoors on soft ground, access may be hindered in extreme weather conditions. Now, Stalk in the Park is available to guests of all ages, but participation is at parents slash guardians' discretion and control due to the scary storylines and jump scares throughout. So the dates of Stalk in the Park uh, is Monday 12th, Tuesday 13th, uh, Wednesday 14th, uh, Friday 16th, Saturday 17th, Monday 19th, Tuesday 20th, Wednesday 21st, Friday 23rd, Saturday 24th, uh, Monday 26th, Monday tw uh, Tuesday 27th, sorry, Wednesday 28th, Thursday 29th, Friday 30th, and Saturday 31st. So basically, it's every single Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Friday and Saturday in October, and then the last Thursday in October as well. Those are technically the dates of uh, Stalk in the Park. 
They also have a fancy dress competition where everyone attending Flamingo and wearing Halloween fancy dress will be eligible to enter our fiendish fancy dress competition. Held daily at the outdoor entertainment venue Riverside 1 at 1.45pm. You can win a family day pass to Flamingoland for 2021 and that will come very handy especially if you're a thrill seeker looking for that brand new 10 looping coaster coming next year. All guests staying in our holiday resort campsite are also encouraged to enter so don't forget to pack your fancy dress outfits. So that's a nice fun activity, you know, just keep the Halloween spirit up. Um, then we have Riverside 13 live production. Come along to our outdoor entertainment venue Riverside 1 and experience the amazing international illusionist James Long. Starting at 5pm the show will be performed daily from the 10th of October to the 1st of November and it's expected to be busy. But due to social distancing restrictions our dedicated viewing area has a limited capacity so please arrive early. Very important. This unmissable production is included in the price of park admission or evening only tickets available for only £10 per person. So, big new, uh, ed well, big entertainment show, Riverside 13 Live. Uh, very, very good there and I can't wait to see what they do with that. I'd be interested to see what kind of like effects or like background stuff they do with The Illusionist. And it's going to be a good show. I've got a feeling it'll be a very interesting show. Uh, then you've got the Trick or Treat Trail. For only £3 per person, you will receive a Halloween bag and map, which will direct you to five locations around the park. At each location, you'll receive a treat to pop in your bag and a sticker for your map. Visit all five locations to have a bag full of goodies and a chilling treat. There's no age on the Trick or Treat Trail, and allergen information is available upon request. So, this is like a nice... Trick or Treat Walk kind of gives me vibes of the Trick or Treat uh, Wood, or what's now in the Forbidden Forest, which is like a ramped up version of that, uh, at Chessington World of Adventures Halloween. So it kind of gives me vibes of that, but a bit more family orientated, so I think that'll be a, a good one there. Then we've got the Spooktacular Firework Display, which take place on the following dates at 6.15pm, subject to light levels on the day. It will be on the 14th of October, the 17th of October, the 24th of October, and the 31st of October. So, one Wednesday and three Saturdays, so not too shabby. Uh, price included in park admission, and the Spectacular Display can be viewed from any many areas around the park. But it's best enjoy from the official viewing near the Pirates of Zanzibar show. And of course, like the Riverside 13 show, due to social distancing restrictions, access to this area will be limited. So please arrive early. That's the big uh, sort of talking point from this. Uh, finally, you can come along to the Peter Rabbit Adventure Playground and follow Peter Rabbit's Pumpkin Trail. There's a spooky treat for anyone who completes the trail and due to social distancing restrictions, access to this area will be limited again and they just put a little thing at the bottom saying Halloween at Flamingoland is designed to be a COVID-19 safe and secure experience. While visiting we ask all guests to follow the current government guidelines and any instructions given by our COVID ambassadors. Flamingoland Resort reserves the right to amend or cancel any of the advertised events without prior notice due to government guidelines. So uh, that will help keep me safe uh, all the way through. And uh, yeah, I definitely think that Flamingoland are putting on a fantastic event. So there we go, that is talk about Flamingoland Halloween 2020, the Halloween Hot Term event. And it's got a nice vibe about it. I'm not going to, you know, beat around the bush. It's got a good vibe about it. And I think that Flamingoland are doing a fantastic job sticking to the government guidelines and putting on this Halloween event just as good as they can do if there wasn't any COVID. And, you know, Flamingoland doing a really good job with this event. The different attractions and activities around the event sound very exciting for families. This is more a Halloween family event rather than a thrill event. There's not many, you know, scare zones and scare mazes that are probably going to go ahead. I know Thought Park Fright Night is still going ahead so far. Scarefest is still going ahead as far, but I know a lot of events have cancelled. Kent Scareground, we did an update on that, and now that's come out uh, yesterday and said... Uh, that they've had to postpone the event to 2021, which is a real shame because, you know, shout out to the guys at Kent Scareground, man. They invited me down and, you know, it'd be great. It would, it would have been fantastic to head down to, 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 the, to Margate and try that event out, but that's a 2021 thing now. So hopefully it will go ahead in 2021 and not be postponed again to 2022. Um, York Mace Hello Scream, we know that's already cancelled. York Mace Hello Tween is still going ahead as planned, though, I believe, because, of course, they've not got any actors inside the mazes. So, my head down there and film some mazes. So, uh, check that out, because I know they've added the, uh, um, the Slaughterhouse one, the Meat Locker, shall we say. Um, they've added that, I believe, to the, uh, 
the, the family maze as she was saying for Halloween. So I might head down there because I haven't done a walkthrough of the Meat Locker one yet. Um, looking then at the different attractions there, the Trick or Treat Trail, that's good. The Peter Rabbit Pumpkin Trail, that's brilliant for, for the families and for the kids especially. Uh, the Riverside 13 Live Entertainment Show with The Illusionist, James Long, that sounds impressive. Um, the fire, fireworks, it's nice to have a fireworks display, I don't think Blackpool's having one this year. Uh, I don't think, uh, I'm not too sure if the Alton Towers one's still going ahead this year, I'm not too sure about that. But, um, it's good that Flamingo are doing a fireworks display and sticking to the restrictions. And of course, you know, with all these details, things are subject to change between now and when the event starts on the 10th of October. So, uh, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see if things do change between now and the 10th. And uh, it will be interesting to see what happens between now and then. So... Thank you very much guys for watching this video on the Halloween Hard Term at Flamingo Land Resort. Stay tuned because we've got a news update, another Halloween update uh, from Bush Gardens Temper. And somebody requested a fact file from Griffin at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. So uh, I'll film that. I'll get that out in the next few weeks. So don't worry, that'll be coming out in the next couple of few weeks. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned for a Bush Gardens Temper Halloween update today as well. Thank you very much. My name is Coach Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, keep living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. I'm a Rover's boy. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.